Hey everybody, I'm Tim Ward and welcome to Garden Sense Radio. We had over 50 emails come through on Saturday and Sunday with questions about seeding, about weeds in your lawn. So we've selected four that we want to address here on this podcast, so why don't we jump right in. The first question is from Horatio. Hey Tim, I just put lime on my lawn and it looks brown and dead. What product can I use to bring my lawn back to life and looking nice and green? So just like life, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. And adding too much lime to your lawn can do just that and actually cause it uh, to die off if you're not careful. Uh, Really what a a lawn needs to thrive uh, is iron, potassium, and nitrogen. Uh, And those three things are typically blocked uh, from your lawn absorbing them uh, when you put down too much lime. So how to fix it? The first thing we do is put down Turf Trust Lawn Fertilizer. Get that down now. uh, And what that's gonna do is slowly provide that nutrition to your lawn over the course of the next three months or so. Uh, For an immediate impact, what we would then do is pick up a couple of bottles of Kickstart and I'd put an application down right now. Uh, Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Kickstart, Kickstart is really designed to help uh, lawns, but also garden plants, uh, as well as as trees and shrubs, uh, to strengthen its roots. And what it does is actually allows the the roots of that plant to absorb more of the uh, nutrition and more of the minerals that are found naturally in the soil. Uh, So again, if the lime that you've put down is blocking things like iron, um, Kickstart is actually gonna help that plant, in this case, the lawn, absorb more of the iron that's already in the soil. So put down an application of Kickstart now. Uh, Also put down Turf Trust Lawn Fertilizers as soon as you can. And then in another, uh, call it two or three weeks, I would put down a second application of Kickstart. Uh, Within a month, you should see uh, that green really start to come back and you should have a healthy looking lawn here um, by the end of September. The next question is from Tom. Hey Tim. How much RTF grass seed do you need to oversee the lawn approximately 12,000 square feet in size? So when you overseed with Baron Brug's Turf Saver RTF seed, you need about four to five pounds of seed per thousand square feet. So in a 12,000 square foot area, you're gonna need anywhere between 48 pounds and 60 pounds of that Baron Brug seed to overseed effectively. Question number three is from Thurmond. Hey Tim, I have a 20 by 20 area in the front of my house covered with Delaware River Rock instead of mulch. Over the years in partially shaded areas, the River Rock has taken on a greenish look, probably from algae, mold, or mildew. Is there something I could spray on the rock that does not impact the plants? So I'd actually recommend 30 seconds outdoor cleaner. Uh, It's good for algae, mildew, mold, you can spray it on decks, you can spray it on your house, uh, and it should work really well on these rocks. The great thing about it is that if you use it as it directed, it's going to be safe for your grass, it's going to be safe for your plants. The final question today is from Frank. Hey Tim, I discovered an invasive grass-like weed creeping into my lawn. Can you identify it and recommend an herbicide? Hey Frank, thanks for the email. So this plant is actually called Kalinga and it's actually a type of sedge. So given the fact that you've just kind of discovered it and it sounds like uh, the problem isn't very widespread, I'd actually recommend using Gordon's Sedge Stop. Now what I like about uh, Gordon's Sedge Stop uh, is it comes in a two pound shaker can, uh, which means for small areas, it's real easy to just walk to that area that's been infected with those weeds, sprinkle uh, what you need to on the plant and move on. Now we do have other products that will kill Kalinga, uh, but again, they're gonna be more for, uh, you know, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 square foot areas. Uh, So for this little mini invasion that you're experiencing, I would absolutely try Gordon's Sedge Stop. It should work really, really well. Some final thoughts here, folks. The fall feeding frenzy is still going on over at rosensonline.com. So if you need Turf Trust Lawn Fertilizer for your third application that should be going down right now, or you're looking ahead to that fourth application sometime between Halloween and Thanksgiving, then again, head over to rosensonline.com, check out the lawn fertilizer section, and take advantage of the fall 
feeding frenzy. Right now, you're gonna save on the cost of the product and you're also gonna save money on shipping. Folks, as I mentioned earlier in this video, we had over 50 emails just on Saturday and Sunday. Um, we love hearing from you guys. There's no question about it. We love hearing when things are going well, uh, and we love when you reach out to us for advice. So if you're having problems, big or small, with your lawn, with your garden, uh, some trees or some shrubs, let us know and we will do our absolute best to help. We believe in sensible advice for the sensible garden here on Garden Sense Radio, and we will always point you to the right product to use, even if it means pointing you somewhere else because it might be something that we simply don't carry. We really appreciate your business. We really appreciate your emails and we appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Have a great week, everybody.